Adam always has these creative ideas. Um, probably at least three or four an hour. Most of his ideas never really come about uh, in creation, but uh, on this trip he told us of this restaurant. I remember this restaurant that my family used to take us to called Lambert's Cafe, and their big deal is they throw rolls. It's the home of throwed rolls. That was an interesting place. Um, I don't know. Home of the throwed rolls. Now, what that means, I guess, in the South is thrown. In America, we say thrown. In the South, they say throwed. It ended up being really good. Um, they throw rolls at you, and the waiters walk around. They come around with big bends and dump food on your plate. Got introduced to something called, what's that called? Okra. Um, I guess it's like a green stem plant, and they fry it, or bread it and fry it. Adam made a big deal about it all day long, and I didn't think it'd be that cool. But it really was pretty cool. They came by, they threw food at us. Um, they stapled money, they stapled dollar bills to the walls. If you look at my Bamboozle MySpace Bamboozle Gallery, you can see in the background there's money stapled on the wall. There was not as much money on the wall after we left that there was when we first got there. I don't know. <laughs> don't you have to um, cut the end off? <laughs> Is it? While we were at Lambert's, I guess one of the options on the on the menu was white beans and ham soup, which sounds terrible to me. Uh, I don't like white beans. I'm not a huge fan of ham. And mixing them together in some sort of saucy concoction doesn't sound good. Of course, Adam ordered it because he's been there many a time. And on his menu, in the description of the meal, it listed all the sides and whatnot that he got. And then it said, you can choose between a cigar or a pack of, I think, cinnamon gum. He got the cigar. <laughs> Speak up. Hold it above. Uh, partway on our 45 hour drive across the nation, he decided to light the cigar up in the back of the van. A glass of scotch. What do you think about the current economy? I think the and the upcoming election? I think the current economy <coughs> sucks. No coughing. We're all getting lung cancer together. <laughs> the upcoming presidential election. <laughs> I can care less. I, I can't TV see for, it. I haven't watched TV for weeks. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> what I do care about? Oh, it's God. It's Cuba. Fine cigars. <laughs> All you can eat bean dinners. <laughs> and going to Atlantic City to see Gotti Kids. Thanks for watching, America. Until next time. So, we were driving, minding our own business, just cruising down the road. Adam was smoking a cigar, and uh, he finished and he dumped his ashes into a cup. And I handed it to Ben and said, Ben, when you get a chance, take care of this cup. Meaning, throw it out the window. And I threw the cup right out the window because it was filled with burning stuff in a cigar and it stunk. And for multiple reasons, okay? I threw it out. I littered. Woo, I littered. We're in Ohio. And James is currently sitting in the police cruiser. He got pulled over. We threw the ice out the window, the cup. And there happened to be an officer of the law behind us. So we got pulled over and he came up to my door and asked me for my driver's license and then asked me to get out of the car, which was somewhat normal procedure, I guess. And then he asked me to get in his car, which wasn't what I thought was somewhat normal. So that, I kind of was worried at that point. Uh, we're in Ohio on Interstate 70. We just got pulled over for sodomy. We're getting pulled over right now. For trafficking of child prostitutes. We just got pulled over for performing lewd acts on the driver. We're getting pulled over for getting fucked up and listening to 
the millionaires music. Apparently the millionaires are uh, forbidden in the state of Ohio. You cannot listen to them, look like them, or talk about them. We got busted for all three. We're in Ohio and we're getting pulled over. We've been getting pulled over. It's taking so long, I've decided to have a fiesta in the back seat. And we look suspicious, of course, because out of state plates and a bunch of kids and Ben has dreadlocks and um, so they assume that we are drug users or transporting drugs. So he called for a canine unit and the canine unit came and apparently the dog smelled tons of drugs because the dog was jumping all over our car and scratching. And the drug dog that they brought out was not a drug dog. It didn't look like a police dog. It was hyperactive. The guy even threw a stick or a toy out in the grass for the dog to go pick it up and the dog couldn't even find the stick it was a toy so if you can't find your own toy and your own scent you have problems my dad will like this part of the video <laughs> he's playing fetch with his hunting dog <laughs> and so then they made us all get out and searched our van we're gonna search the entire van well i had to pee really bad james had to pee really bad and adam had to pee really bad so I was hoping that this would not take that long. And we were probably on the side of the road for a good 45 minutes. Fuck, this shit up. <laughs>